Being a great scientist isn't about your experiments always working. It's not about finding all the concepts easy or never struggling. Instead, all of that is a totally normal part of science, and being a great scientist is having the passion to work through those hard times and the motivation to want to find the answers that's going to allow you to use those as learning opportunities, whether a mis you made a mistake and didn't pipette right, or whether you just didn't have a full understanding of the scientific picture and therefore the results you got were inconsistent with what you thought you would get. And so it's really important when you're starting out in science to know that having these failed experiments and struggling in the lab, this is all totally normal and everybody around you has gone through the same slow learning process. And so don't let, um, don't just like look at those Nobel Prize winning scientists and think, I can never be like that. Like, how do they know all of this stuff? They had to start at the very beginning too. They had to start not knowing how to use a pipette. And so don't feel bad about, don't try to, don't like beat yourself up if you're having difficulty. Know that that doesn't mean that you're not cut out to be a scientist. It just means that it's a difficult process. And you don't see those Nobel Prize winning scientists advertising, like giving big talks about how they struggled to use a pipette for the first time. Instead, they're giving great talks about these fundamental monumental discoveries that they made. And they make everything sound like it was this nice, nice neat picture. But really, everybody has to go through this difficult learning process, even those Nobel Prize winning scientists. And so it's really important that you keep this in mind. Um, so some people had asked me recently for some advice for starting out scientists. And really, it's just like knowing that it's not just you if you're struggling and being able to find a supportive environment that's going to help show you this, that's going to help work with you through those hard times and not make you feel bad about yourself, not have that attitude like, well, I had to go through hard times, so you should too. Yeah, don't find those, avoid those people. Find a supportive lab to do your work in. And so don't focus on like finding a lab with the best science or the science you're most interested in, but really find a lab with great supportive people because when you're starting out, you're really just learning how to be a scientist and um, learning some fundamental techniques, but not focusing on the like those really specialized techniques or those exact research questions that you want to ask for the rest of your life. Instead, it's about learning how to be a scientist. And a big part of learning how to be a scientist is learning to learn from your mistakes and to learn um, learn from these experiments that like didn't work. And so you want to use these as learning opportunities. Sometimes something might not work because you don't have a full understanding. Um, and this could be a full understanding of the technical details or of the actual science itself. Either way, you were being a scientist is about trying to find that understanding. And so it's really one of the ways you can find this information is if people know it, then ask. So it's really hard to go and ask like, okay, well, why did it like okay, to admit like, okay, this didn't work. So like, why I'm really confused about this step or something like that. It doesn't mean that you're stupid. It just means that probably people didn't explain it well enough to you the first time. A lot of times in science, we can kind of forget about all those early times when we didn't know when how, why something, um, we didn't know why we we're doing certain stuff. We didn't know some sort of like how to do something. And so we kind of just forget that you don't know when, when you're, when you're learning too, because no one's taught you. And so when you're mentoring someone, make sure you try to point that stuff out. And when you're learning something, be sure to ask the questions. Um, if you don't understand something, it's way better to learn it, the, to ask the question, to learn things the right way, than to kind of think you're doing things the right way, but actually being do, doing the things the wrong way. And so basically, you want to learn things the right way, starting out, and so ask those questions. It can be kind of intimidating, but really, it's more important and it's going to be a lot less embarrassing to not to be um, to ask the question now than to keep making the mistake over and over and over again. You also want to ask those questions about those fundamental concepts. It's really important that you understand why you're doing what you're doing, not just know how to do it. Um, and this is going to be true all throughout science. So focus on getting those fundamentals down. That's going to give you a solid foundation. Focus on trying to think like a molecule. Understand the differences between things like nucleophiles and electrophiles. Predict where electrons are going to go. Really just focus on those core concepts that are going to underlie everything in science. 
um, and this is really going to help you build this strong foundation. So, starting out in science, know that you're going to struggle. Continuing on to, in the science, know you're going to struggle. Know that this is totally normal and that everybody around you had to go through the same thing. Learning science is a slow process, so be patient with yourself and find people that are going to be patient with you as well. Be sure to ask lots and lots of questions when you have questions. Sometimes the people around you might not even know the answer because they might this maybe maybe no one knows or maybe they just had never stopped to think about it so be that person that stops to think about things and to search out those answers you might have to end up in some weird google rabbit holes um, but it's really worth it to learn why to learn the fundamentals to learn the really core principles that are going to underlie everything and allow you to learn from those experiments that don't turn out the way you think you they should um, to learn what's really going on and to use those gaps as chances, as learning opportunities. And so again, don't feel bad about yourself if you're having hard times. Don't think it does it mean it doesn't don't think it means you're not cut out for science. Just know that it means that it's part of the science process and it's, it's something that you're gonna learn from. 